and welcome back. One of my favorite MCU movies. One of my favorite MCU movies of Phase 1. Fucking Captain America the First Avenger. I love this movie. End of review. I fucking love this movie. Obviously, I'm going to do a little bit more. But I love this movie. It's completely disconnected for the most part from the rest of the movies. But it's great. I'll get into it in a minute. But welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Zach, here on the Yo Bro Nation YouTube channel. We are once again delving in to the MCU. Um, we're going to keep going on these things, guys. We're going to hit them all slowly but surely. Uh, but before we do that, hit that like button. really does help out the channel. Subscribe to said channel. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Share it with your friends. I'm sure they'd love to hear all my BS and see how weird I am and be like, God, that guy does YouTube. Is he okay? Uh, but you guys could do all that stuff. It'd be greatly appreciated. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Follow us on there. Tell us what you think. Share your thoughts and feelings on there. I'm completely always all ears on both of those. Uh, <clears throat> just be good people to each other. So let's rock this boat, shall we? Uh, but yes, Captain America The First Avenger came out in two. 2011. It was the final film before the release of the Avengers by <clears throat> Josh Sweden. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> this movie, of course, takes place during World War II, where a young, young man by the name of Steve, Steve Rogers, uh, is trying to be like his friend Bucky and join the army but he's a small guy ain't very well built but by happen chance because he ruffled the feathers of enough people a couple doctors um Dr. Abraham uh blah 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 because <laughs> I can't pronounce it uh played by Stanley Stanley Tucci um decided you know what he's our guy he's what we want for the super soldier program uh, despite the fact that uh, Chester Phillips, uh, the general, whatever he was, yeah, played by Tommy Lee Jones, uh, didn't like him. They put him through some tests. He ends up getting the super soldier serum, and he becomes Captain America. Re near, near all this and happening during all this, meanwhile, uh, the Tesseract is being uh, shopped around. People are trying to get it. Uh, the Red Skull played by Hugo Weaving, is trying to get it. Him and his little minions. Uh, we see the shield made by Howard Stark. Of course, yes, Tony's father, played by Dominic Cooper of Priest fame, for those who didn't know. Uh, we also get to meet Peggy Carter, the love of Steve's life, played by Haley Atwell. She ended up with her own series. It was pretty fucking good. Go watch it if you get a chance. Uh, and yeah, the Germans. The Germans want this. He wanted to be American, and, and, and everything. He becomes Captain America, but he doesn't actually go fight at first. He does some bunch of stupid little vignettes and shows and as morale for the USO tour, which I do appreciate because I was in the army. And that stuff was fun. Don't ask me why. Don't ask why. I don't know why I just did that. But I did. Moving on. Uh, Neil Mc, Neil McDougat, McDongug, I can't pronounce his fucking name. He's in this movie. He plays, um, Damien Dark on Arrow. He's also in one of my favorite miniseries, which I do plan on at some point, uh, covering a uh, band of brothers. He's in this, uh, you do see Samuel Jackson towards the end, but, um, you know, Steve finally starts to figure out what's going on. They're going to war with the Germans, uh, except uh, Hugo Weaving isn't exactly with them. He's with Hydra, and Steve Rogers has to stop him and get the Tesseract back, and they have a pretty okay fight. Um, I love this movie. Uh, that's all I'm going to tell you story-wise. That's what you get. Figure out the rest. Go watch it, because it's worth it. Chris Evans. This man was born. Born to play Steve Rogers. Born to be Captain America. It's it's fantastic. The cast is great. Everyone played their parts so well. So well. So fantastic. Um, I don't know who the director was, but he did great. The plot is good. 
the action is really good. Just I man, I I I was a Spider-Man guy, a Batman guy, but when I saw this, when I saw Avengers, I have been a Captain America fan ever fucking since. Okay, it wasn't the comics that pulled me in to him. It was his portrayal in these movies. Chris Evans is fucking gold, man. I'm fired up. I fucking love this movie. 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, it's got some flaws, okay? Uh... When you go to the movies later on, there's a few continuity eras, er, uh, eras that, which they don't do very often, but I, I love this movie. It's slow at points. The first the first act and a half is so slow, but I love it. I do. I love this movie, and it's great. Uh, so Chris Evans, he, you know... He defeats the Red Skull. He's got this Tesseract. He crashes into the water to keep people from getting it because he knows if it's in the wrong hands, it's going to do him no good, but they can't destroy it. So he crashes into ice and he ends up being frozen for, fuck, 40 years, something like that, 50 years till 2011. So yeah, 60 years, 70 years, something like that. Perfectly preserved till someone named Tony Stark has him dug up because he, he wants that Tesseract. Uh, it's a great movie. Go check it out, guys. It, it is. It's really freaking great. Uh, you guys have been great. So thank you. Thank you guys for joining me. Remember, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook. Check us out there. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Um, last week... Spider-Man No Way Home came out. My review for that is up on the channel. Um, you can check my Jingle All The Way review. That is also up on the channel. Tomorrow's Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas. I am doing a Christmas story review. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> my apologies. I must be getting tired. Uh, but that, that is tomorrow as well. Uh, check out my Matrix Revolutions review. That is up on the channel. Wait till you hear what I thought about that movie, huh? Uh, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for coming up and uh, just checking this video out and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, next week, next week, Iron Man 3 and Thor, The Dark World. Those are my reviews. You guys can check those out next week. As we are one day away from the new year and the complete reboot of this channel. I will see you guys next week for the final, as you see it, movie reviews on the channel. It'll be fun. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. And above all else, guys, join the nation. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm <laughs> sorry.